Hello viewers, I welcome you to today's segment on Paris Tutorials. I am Simeon Grace. Today I'll be taking you on this lovely top. It's going to be a straight blouse with another pattern for the half length and also it is padded. The padded straight blouse, that's what I'll be taking us today. And in doing this, I'm going to be using two yards of fabric to make the blouse all together. That's the plain and the pattern two yards of fabric to do the cutting and I'm going to be working with the length measurement first you know how we do it we'll work with the under bust measurement which is 15 inches and we'll work with the full length which is 25 the bust measurement 40 the band measurement is 36 and also the waist measurement is 40 inches I'm going to be adding 8 inches to the bust band and waist measurement and the 8 inches is for our sewing allowance. So it's going to be 40 plus 8 divided by 4, which is the same thing with the same thing as 40 divided by 4, then plus 2. The 2 inches is the sewing allowance. So I'll be adding 8 inches to my measurement and I'll be dividing by 4. We're going to be doing that and in less than 30 minutes we are done. So, but before we continue, Click on the button there, yes, to be a subscriber to this channel so as to get notifications to all my tutorials. Click on the button O Africa TV, where you can follow O Africa TV on Facebook and on Instagram at oafricatv.com. Yes, to get every of our tutorials, follow oafricatv.com. Now, let's go to the cutting table. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to fold our fabric, and we're going to fold with a bust measurement. Remember, it's going to be two different patterns. We have minus seven, and then the remaining pattern, which is this fabric, is going to be the remaining length. So, from minus seven, the remaining one is going to be this fabric. The bust from our measurements plus eight divided by four, we have twelve point five. So now, we are going to fold 12.5, but remember, because it's going to be a padded blouse, so we are going to add extra 2 inches to the folding. Now, we will make it 14.5, so I will be folding 14.5. So now, I have 14.5 um, folded and the measurement minus 7 we have minus 7 and the remaining length minus 7 which is 25 the full length is 25 I'll be adding 3 inches to it so we have 28 inches we have 28 inches and we have 8.5 for the bust we have the honor bust measurement to be 13 so I'll mark out 14 as with the sewing allowance 14 inches and remember we added two inches we added two inches extra to it so i'm marking out the two inches So this extra 2 inches now, I will be folding it in, but before then, I'm going to cut. So now we'll fold the 2 inches extra. We have the two inches folded in, so now we can continue with our measurements. We have the bust 42 plus 8 divided by 4. We have 12.5. 12.5. 
and this is the honor bust measurement so the the band measurement will be taken after it which is 36 plus 8 divided by 4 we have 11 inches and we have the waist 40 plus 8 divided by 4 we have 12 inches so we're going to cut from here Now I'm going to unfold the two inches. I'm folding the two inches now. The nipple to nipple point measurement is eight. So I'll be folding five inches. And that will give us ten. We need eight, so we need to fold more than eight. That's with our sewing allowance. Now we have minus seven, and we have on the bust with the allowance 14 inches. So now the dart measurement, this is the middle of the fabric. So I'll measure four inches. All the way to the under bust measurements. 4 inches this is the under bust measurement and from the under bust measurement to the nipple point we have 3.5 inches 3.5 and I have the wideness again I have 4 inches so now bringing out the shape from the wideness to the nipple point and from the nipple point to the under bust measurement and I have the four inches measured all the way down so I'm going to cut this So let's see what we have after cutting. So next, now we're going to bring out the shape. You can leave a you can leave the neck design the way it is or you can bring out any desired shape you want so for this now i'll be bringing out a sweetheart neck it's minus seven remember so i have eight inches and from the hedge i'm going to bring out the shape You can have a V shape, a U shape, any desired neck design of your choice. Yes, yeah, so this is what I have afterwards. So now we're going to cut the back bodies. Let's do that quickly. Okay, now I'm cutting the back now, still with our measurement, which is 12.5. And I'll be adding 2 inches for the zipper allowance, so we have 14.5. 14.5 and still maintaining the minus 7 inches we have the length of 25 and here now is going to be 28 with the 3 inches allowance we have the 8.5 for the bust we have the 14 inches for the under bust with the sewing allowance now the 2 inches which was added for the zipper allowance So also I'll be folding backward 
that's the two inches we added to it and now we can continue with our measurement the bust now 12.5 inches and the band measurements 11 and the waist measurements 12 So we're going to divide the back into two. We're going to divide into two and then we'll bring the dart measurements. I'll be dividing the dart measurements into two as well. So we have four inches for the darts. And I'll be dividing into two. So now we'll move to the half length of the blouse. So now the remaining, the half length of the blouse folded with the 12.5. So we have seven inches. I have seven inches. Remember, that's the measurement of the half length. Now, the shoulder measurement is 16, and we have 16 divided by 2, we have 8 inches, and with our sewing allowance, I have 8.5. And remember, the 8.5 measured down for the bust, so which means from the shoulder measurement, we'll get to the, we'll get to the bust, and that will give us the arm O. So I'm going to cut this. And the neck design, I have four inches that's the deepness of the neck, 4 inches, and the neck wideness, 3.5, 3.5, and I have a round neck. You're going to have your desired neck design, round neck, a square neck, a sweet heart neck, cano neck, any desired neck design, so I'll be cutting this. And I was slanting the shoulder. So now I'll be using this to cut out the back pattern. That's for the half length. I'll be using this to cut it out. So I'll just be cutting exactly what I have here for the back. And the neck design. The neck design, I'll make it just two inches. That's the deepness. The deepness is two inches, and of course, the wideness has to be the same thing with the front wideness. So, and also, I'm going to slant in it. Yeah, and we have the zip allowance, so I'm going to divide it into two. And there we have now we move to the sleeve for the sleeve now the sleeve length is 12 inches and the round sleeve is 15 inches so I'll be adding 2 inches to the length that will be 14 inches and the 15 inches which is the round sleeve 15 divided by 2 will give us 7.5 and I'll be adding 3 inches to it that will give us 10.5 so we have 14 by 10.5 I'll be folding 10.5 
have. Now I have the 10.5 folded and I have the length. I need to be careful here. I have the length to be 14 inches. 14 inches. Now I'm going to measure down 3.5. 3.5 inches and the original round sleeve measurement is 15 divided by 2 we have 7.5 and I'll have 1 inch sewing allowance I have 8.5 now from this my 3.5 I'll bring it down to meet with the round sleeve of the 8.5 and from the middle I'll have the shape that's the parts that will be attached to the arm O yeah so now I'm going to cut this and I'll use this to cut out the other sleeve and that bring up, brings us to the end of our cutting. Yeah, so I'll just use this to cut out the other sleeve. Well, 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 that brings us to the end of our cutting. I hope you enjoyed the class. Thanks for watching Harry's tutorials. I still remain Simeon Grace. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. O Africa TV and you can watch every of our tutorials on oafricatv.com don't forget to follow and also you can leave your comments you can leave your request I'll always be there to answer your request don't forget stay connected I still remain see me on grace you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Harris creations till I see you next class stay cool oh.